you are making excellent progress, Mr. Holtz. Really. And, and remember, your wife is entitled to her opinion. But personally, I love the shoes. <laughs> <laughs> Next week. <laughs> well, I'm out of here. Any calls, Lisa? Uh, yeah. Uh, your mother called, your father called, your father called, your mother called, and your father called. <laughs> Nothing from Hitler or Mussolini? <laughs> Why are you avoiding your parents, Stephen? Hey, if I call them back today, they will have nothing to do tomorrow. <laughs> oh, look, I'd take you on as a patient, but I'm not that good. Freud wasn't that good. Yeah, well, neither was New Hart. <laughs> hey. Enough about my psyche. I'm off on a date with a stewardess. Ingrid, a Dutch goddess. This is a woman who brings new meaning to my cab ride through the Holland Tunnel. <laughs> Look at you, divorced six months and already dating a stewardess. What a cliché. Well, I hope in an hour I will be a smiling cliché. I just hope none of my baggage shifts around during the flight. <laughs> Stephen! Yes! Oh, yes. Ingrid! Yeah, 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 yeah! Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, oh, oh. My son's Ninja Turtle party ring. Did I mention that I had a son, huh? Yes, Stephen. But he's at the sleepover. He'll be back tomorrow afternoon. He will, you know. <laughs> Listen, you know, he, he's really not over his mother leaving, so, like, you know, do me a favor. If he asks you who you are, say you like the new gardener or something like that. Shut up and kiss me, Stephen. Uh, I want you. Oh, and whoa, you're gonna have me. <laughs> I want to do everything you've ever dreamed of. Really? Well, let me get, like, a ladle and some Armenian string cheese. <laughs> Oh, 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 God. Oh, oh, please, please, you got, you got to be gentle, really. And the last time I was with a woman, I was, like, getting nutrients to an umbilical cord. Oh, oh. Oh. Shut up, will you? Oh. What's the matter with you? I'm sleeping here. What are you doing here? Maybe if you'd answer a phone message once in a while. Who is he? Al Mitchell, my father. The man who just fulfilled my worst sexual nightmare. <laughs> well, look at the size of those things. <laughs> Don't listen to him. He was raised by wolves. Look, Stephen, I'm going to go. No, no, wait, Ingrid, please. He was just leaving. I was not. I was in here, quiet, sleeping sound, and you barged in. <laughs> barged in? This is my house. Call me, Stephen. We'll talk. No, wait, Ingrid, please, wait. Oh, I had the condom ready since Thanksgiving. <laughs> well, maybe it's better. <laughs> she looked like a screamer. <laughs> and we both need our sleep. <laughs> what both? I took naps all week just to prepare for this. <laughs> what are you even doing here? Go sleep in your own house. Your mother threw me out. <laughs> Again? What did you do this time, huh? Nothing. The woman belongs in an asylum. <laughs> what stupid investment did you make now? Never mind. Yeah? Come on, how much did you lose? Tell me. Well, all of our retirement money. <laughs> all of it? Oh, gee, this is, this is bad. Well, it gets worse. Today, the bank foreclosed on the house. <laughs> oh, my. What are you... Oh, Dad, why the hell didn't you come to me, huh? I did. I'm here. <laughs> this is unbelievable. Does Larry know? I didn't want to upset your brother. He's got enough problems. But you can upset me, huh? Hey, you get paid for it, don't you, doctor? <laughs> At least I'm not some idiot sitting around watching sheep dress up in lingerie. <laughs> Stop making fun of my job. I can't help it. That's what I do. I'm a car salesman. I'm quick with the jokes. Well, you retire to retire the jokes, all right? Oh, God. Look, it's happening. It's happening again. You happy? You happy? Look, I'm starting to twitch again. Fabulous, huh? Like that woman across the street with the glandular problem. Oh, man, look. I'm going to call Mom, and we're going to take care of all this tomorrow morning. Lots of luck. 
The last time I saw your mother, she was out on the lawn tearing a rabbit apart with her teeth. Will you just shut up and go to bed, Dad? All right. I'm taking your bed. And you can sleep in the room with the cowboys on the wall. Fine, but I'm warning you. Don't scratch any of your body parts while you're in there. <laughs> Famous Mitchell combination, father to son. They're going for the TD. Hey, what's the difference as long as you have your health? Am I right or am I wrong? Hey, Daddy, look who I have in my new truck. Let me see that. Oh, that damn new gardener. I promise I'll fix it. How do you want your hamburgers? Hamburgers? Yeah. Hey, we don't eat beef here, Dad. Hey, Danny. Remember the story I told you about the sad little cow? Yes. And remember how his brother Jocko became a $2.99 special at Roy Rogers? Yes. No hamburgers, Dad. Sorry. Thanks. You could have told me that before I turned on the burner. <laughs> so, did you have fun at Brett's sleepover? Yeah, but sometimes I wish Mommy still lived with us like Brett's mommy does. Yeah, I know you do, buddy. Did you, Mommy and Daddy, ever have a divorce? No, no. And believe me, I begged. <laughs> hey, the Cadillac just pulled up. Looks like the one I sold your brother. It is. Boy, sounds good. Guess the front end was realigned. <laughs> <laughs> Who's the ugly guy in the passenger seat? That's Mom, Dad. Cut it out. <laughs> What's she doing here? Quick, Danny, hide the silverware. I invited her here, Dad. I don't know if you've noticed, but we're having a family crisis. Oh, yeah, he brought the kid. Uh, whoa! Look at you! How big you've gotten. What are you now, about 12? Four! What are you feeding him, Larry? Hawk chow? Darlene, she's home fixing the truck. Hey, don't look at me like that. It was fine when she drove it off the lot. <laughs> well, I'm here, damn it. <laughs> Helen, what do you want us to do? Throw your party? Uh, quick, Stephen, uh, put on some rumba records. <laughs> Hi, Ma. <sighs> what is he doing here? I live here. Oh, you don't live here. Kids, kids, listen. Everybody just run upstairs and, and, and play, okay? And if you hear any screams, just uh, ignore them. Unless, of course, you know, they're from me. Don't make me go up there with them, Daddy. They always sit on me. Danny, I promise this will not take a long time. Don't sit on your cousin. Well, what did you want? I'm very busy. I need to find a cardboard box to live in. <laughs> Please, let's all sit down and know that we're all here to make some peace, huh? Maybe that's what you're here for. I'm here to get in a few good shots. <laughs> Let him talk, Al. God, you're such an ass. <laughs> Larry, you want to help me here? You want to say something? Huh? What can I say? <laughs> Look. What will it take to get you two back together? Come on. Cancer of the liver. <laughs> Mom, please, come on. Look, Dad's been screwing up for 40 years. You've been hawking him for 40 years. Why leave him now? I only stayed with him because of you kids. You have no idea what hell I put up with to create a loving and happy environment for you to grow up in. Damn it! <laughs> I'm sorry I screwed up, Helen, OK? What do you want me to do, rob a bank? Will that make you happy? This isn't about the money, Al. This is about me! I finally have a chance to experience life without this piece of baggage dragging me down. <laughs> I want thrills. I want romance. I want multiple orgasms. Oh, oh that must be a pretty sight. 
You never satisfied me in bed, Al. Oh, jeez. I satisfied you plenty. I didn't even know I had an O spot till I was 58 years old. 58 years old. A lady on a bus had to tell me. Here's your O spot, a big zero. Uh, I I'm not feeling too good right now. Is good sex too much for me to ask for before I drop dead? Is it? Why don't you drop dead and we'll find out? <laughs> I mean, here's a woman with no ovaries and already she's a swinger, isn't she? Well, okay. I mean, there goes my sex life. I guess I'll just become a priest or something. I don't know. Now, that's not a bad idea. From what I hear, they've been getting a lot of action lately. <laughs> oh, shut up, Al. I'm moving in with my sister, Adelaide. Dude, the mental case? That's not a fault, Dad. A television fell on her head. Adelaide has been very good to you. Every time you screwed up, she lent us money. Hey, I gave her a good deal on that Eldorado, didn't I? And the white walls were free. Free! <laughs> Look, Ma, Dad, if, if we could just open up a line of communication... Communication? Hey, don't throw those fancy psychology words around with us. I've been married to this woman over 40 years, and we don't have to communicate. He's right, Stephen. There isn't a thought that he has that I can't finish. Except for this. Bastard! <laughs> oh, hey, 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 wait a minute. Doesn't anybody here care about this family like I do? Huh? Yeah, doesn't anybody here have any sort of, you know, kind, loving, compassionate thought you want to sort of, like, express, you know. <laughs> okay, well, then I guess Ma can just go live with crazy Aunt Adelaide and Dad can just go live with... Dad can go live with... <laughs> can I talk to you for a minute? Hey, don't be long, huh? She's got a scissors in her purse and I think she's hitting the sacky again. <laughs> Ma, can you please do something about that? I'll handle this. Dad is living with you. No, he's not. You think I need another mouth to feed? You've seen my kids. They can wear Dad's pants. <laughs> but he belongs with you. You have a family life. You got more money than I do. I had more money than you. When Dad blew his savings, he blew my savings, too. No, wait, wait a minute. You let Dad invest your money? What, are you a moron? Oh, I guess I am, Stephen. I guess I am. <laughs> now, do you really expect me to ask Arlene to share her house with the man who cost our kids their private educations? Yes! Yes, I do. I am a single guy. I cannot live with my daddy anymore. Don't you understand? What if I want to make love on the kitchen sink? You do that? Oh, God, and I ate off your plates. <laughs> He's going with you. No, he's not. Ma, let's go. I'll drive you to Auntie Adelaide's. Kids, come on. Larry. Come on. Grandma sat on me. That's right, and you'll never sit on your cousin again, will you? <laughs> Have a nice life. Ow. <laughs> God, I'd like to give her one shot in the chops. <laughs> I'll call you, Ma. Bye, Dad. I'll see you, Stephen. You're doing the right thing. He's a good kid, God love him. Who? Larry. You should be a son like that. Sure. Larry. The son that lived. <laughs> I'll talk to her about it. <laughs> hey, 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 Dad, you all right? Yeah, yeah, I'm okay. It's your mother's perfume. Smells like landfill. <laughs> Daddy, huh? is Grandpa gonna live here forever? <laughs> no, no, no. Grandpa's not living here at all. He's just, he's just staying here. You know, it's like temporarily. Ma says she's sending the rest of Dad's stuff on Tuesday. Great. Then he can have his good suit for my funeral on Wednesday! <laughs> Mr. Rochelle.
God, you were saying? I don't know, Dr. Mitchell. I just can't seem to shake this feeling that uh, people are talking behind my back. But the thing you have to remember, Mr. Rashad, is you're a cab driver. <laughs> you told your brother I'm an ungrateful parasite? Hey, get out! Dr. Mitchell, he's not in the group. Dad, I am in the middle of a session. What? You mean you're not waiting for Jack Nicholson and the big tall Indian? <laughs> I'm sorry, Dr. Mitchell. I was on the phone. He just ran right by me. So did the allies. Hey! <laughs> I'll take care of this. Let's take this outside, huh? I'm sorry. By the way, we discussed your case, and there's no hope for you. <laughs> he was kidding. And I'll be right back. No, wait, Dr. Mitchell. You always tell us to explore our emotions as they come up. It might help us to watch you explore yours. I know it would help me. <laughs> Mind your own business, Aladdin, huh? <laughs> By the way, 7-Eleven called, and your camels are blocking the aisles. <laughs> Will you just cut it out already? I mean, really, do you ever think? Before you even open your mouth, you, you, you're like a shark in a feeding frenzy. Dr. Mitchell, you sound so hostile. I don't know where he gets it from. Oh, you're kidding me. Uh, I'll take childhood for a thousand. <laughs> Maybe you two should talk it over. Oh, no. Uh, no, 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 no. I don't think it's a very good idea, Mr. Leach. Really. Oh, what? We're not good enough to share your stinking life with? It could be helpful. I know it would help me. <laughs> it's too late for you. Phew! I think your falafels are burning. <laughs> God, you're such an ass. Look at me. I'm turning into mom. Oh, we better cover our eyes. This could get ugly. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. We're going to work this through right here and right now. Just sit down. Suit yourself, tough guy. But I have nothing to say. What's your story? I can't get enough sex. <laughs> get away from me! <laughs> Damn Japanese. I'm Chinese. What, that's better? <laughs> I'll make you feel at home. Table 27, no MSG. <laughs> Will you shut up a minute and let your son work? He's a genius, you know. He's done so much for me. Yeah. I can tell. Very good choice, the vertical stripes. <laughs> Why don't you go out the back door? The schooners are circling. <laughs> Dad, you are absolutely, you're killing me. You're killing me here. Really, you know, I'm ashamed to be related to you. I mean, you're, you're even a bigger family embarrassment than Cousin Phil, you know, the guy with the, with the woolen hats and the culottes. <laughs> brother doesn't talk to me like this. My brother? Let me tell you about your favorite son. He doesn't even want you in his own house. In fact, he was even thinking of repainting it in the hopes you wouldn't even recognize it. He said, he said he didn't want me? <sighs> well, actually, it was, uh, it was, it was more, of a, more of a look, you know. Was, uh, come to think of it, uh, no, he, he, maybe he was, I don't know, maybe a little irregular at the time. <laughs> I can't believe he said he didn't want me. <sighs> look, Dad, Larry didn't say that, all right? He loves you. He loves you. He loves you very much. He's a great guy, all right? He's a putz. <laughs> you think I don't know what Larry is? Why do you think I baby him so much? Because I like him? Because I want to protect him. You always were able to take care of yourself. You always did. Your mother and I, uh, we made a lot of mistakes along the way. But you turned out pretty good. You turned out real good. Man, how come I, I, I never knew that you felt like this, huh? I don't know. Maybe you're retarded. <laughs> you always had an awful big head when you were a kid. <laughs> I guess you're right. It's my problem. I'll survive. I survived 25 bombing missions. Your mother's hot flashes, a bad oyster, and I could survive this, too. Goodbye, Stephen. No, wait, uh, don't go. What? 
Wait, don't, don't go. <laughs> what are you saying? Don't go. Live with us. Mm. But there's going to have to be some new rules. I mean, you cannot make any cracks about the women I date. I can do that. Yeah, no mocking my job. I can try to do that. <laughs> and absolutely no interfering in the way I raised Danny. Definitely no problem. I, I, I'm, I'm going to change, Stephen. I really am. You promise? Absolutely. Just keep me away from Porky and Benny Hanna over there. <laughs> Right, Gunga Din? <laughs> I'm doomed. I like Grandpa living here, Daddy. It's sort of like when Mommy lived here. Which explains why our marriage failed. Really? <laughs> Grandpa says it's because you were fluffing in the El Saco. He <laughs> what? Hey, Danny, don't sit like that. You want to end up doing Judy Garland impersonations at the Rainbow Room? <laughs> Here they are. Thick and juicy and blood rare. Hey, Dad, I told you about our no-beef rule. What happened to the eggplant I made? Uh, I threw it out. Looked like that thing growing on Grandma's neck. <laughs> <laughs> Grandpa was a car salesman, Daddy. That's why he's quick with jokes. <laughs> Great, Grandpa. Of course they are. Your father loved them when he was your age. Damn it, Dad. Danny, come on, what are you doing? What happened to the sad little cow? Grandpa said the sad little cow's a wuss, and all the other cows beat the milk out of it. Right, Grandpa? <laughs> right, Danny. Don't worry, Stephen. The kid has no idea. He doesn't even know what it means. Grandpa? Yes, Danny? You're not gonna get sick of Daddy and leave like Mommy did, are you? No, Danny. I'm going to stay here with you forever and ever. Mm -hmm. <laughs>